hi welcome again this tutorial will basically deal with VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP which helps you to find the relevant and corresponding vertical and horizontal value from the different excel sheet so welcome again on VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP today's topic for discussion now the excel sheet uh, is in front of you this excel sheet we will be using for doing VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP these are the names of the student and uh, the these are the values these are the marks which we have got in the correspondent subject now our concern is to find the grade of these all students who have scored uh, these kind of uh, marks into into the stuff now to find this what I'm going to do I'm going to put a view lookup over here I will be using insert functions is function I mean you can even find it and so in this what I am going to do I am going to use a shortcut method if I am not doing it from this so formula sorry we went to do formula we click on insert function and then we enter vlookup in the vlookup the lookup value is we want to see this value 60 and where we want to find this to find is, is we need to find this in this tab table array so i will be selecting the table array so the value will be looked up here and the corresponding value corresponding uh, grades will be picked up column index number so the value is to be looked in this column this is column number one and from where the corresponding grade is to be picked that is volume that is column number two so our column index number of concern is two range lookup um so we'll say false why because we want the exact stuff so this is it so once i have done with this i will say okay see it automatically comes up now before copying and pasting we have to ensure that the absolute referencing is being converted into relative referencing see here f6 this is good because when we will copy this to this this value should be converted to this value that's okay but this the range which we have given a6 into a13 this should always remain same once i copy it should not also take this or it should not leave this or it should not go right there should always be a fixed value from which is to be taken from this area so I'm just going to say that fix this by saying f4 it will be converted into relative refer it will be converted into absolute referencing from relative referencing so it's done once I will just copy and paste it you will automatically get it all the values which are concerned in that into that category and this grade is now ready for you to send the same thing we will go into see into H lookup case now the same uh, stuff is there the same values are there now I want to just ensure that uh, these uh, gradings are taken depending upon these marks so let me do some fabrication work let me add some uh, you know borders and all so that it looks good more professional to be uh, more honest you can make it a bit uh, yellow color and bold color and you can make it centralize done now again we will use be using the vlookup we can also use uh, the formula format of vlookup i mean the typing format of vlookup by specifying i equal to then stating v l double o k u p vlookup but this time we are using h lookup so h l double o k u p lookup bracket which value i need to look so i need to look this 
so I selected this or I can directly click my mouse here then put a comma over here then it asks table array which table array basically we want to have uh, my case is this and there's a problem with this now I need to look on this and I need to find this so here there's a, a bit of changes because VLOOKUP always expects that it is column number one it's not column number minus one so if it is up up I mean the grading is up it will be minus one we cannot specify with so always ensure that the VLOOKUP has to be done on the uppermost column edge lookup has to be done on uppermost column and VLOOKUP has to be done on the leftmost column again a bit of work has to be done H L double OK U P bracket start lookup value this is the lookup value comma table array this is where you need to find the value then comma then row index number one and two i need to find second one comma false we are done with it you can see e and that guy is 160 60 corresponds to e that is over here right now do the same thing P click f2 this make this range f4 and this again f4 it is fixed and then now you're free to cut copy paste done see it's done now i'm also going to look up these into one of my day-to-day -day activity day-to-day -day work which bothers me a lot now this is a value which is being forwarded by one of the department to me that these are the branches who have done the work these are the counselor who have done the work and they have made these students take admission into these colleges these campuses now we need to find that and if i want to give an incentive to our counselor i need to find which counselor has done how many admissions i mean how many payment have been realized now i have released this report i have got this report from one of my next department stating that this guy has submitted this this guy has submitted this now my problem is that this report does not have a counselor name and this report does not have a list who, who stu which, which student has paid and which student have not paid so what i am going to do is i am going to we look up i mean i need to find in this sheet that okay who 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 is responsible to get this payment from the student so that i can get a counselor name on that so i will just click uh, equal to sign v l double o k u p lookup bracket start lookup value i need to find this comma table array if you remember leftmost column should be the name this should be the leftmost column and i want this in fact i just want this i do not want i i just want this and in fact i can also want this go towards down 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 done the last comma one two three four five comma five comma false f a l s e bracket close see this is this we have got which university actually which campus they have been admitted c m p u s and now this is consular c u n c e double l o r i will also find the consular name v l double o k u we look up bracket start look up value this is the value you need to look up in this sheet go i need to i need to select this you need to find this whatever you choose that hardly matters now there's a problem here the problem here consular name is again a leftmost left column see you know this is what i was trying to figure it out this consular name is towards the left now this is a problem of vlookup we cannot compare e and copy d uh, get d it should always be on the right hand side this is a problem with vlookup which we can upgrade which you can you know which you can did you know remove by using index and find kind of command we will see that into a later stage for now what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this whole uh, column here so that 
and you can get it done easily so again i go into here in the consular part i say com comma h l double o k u p bracket start lookup value is this go to sheet number two find that name here and one two three four five this is what if i say one i mean two three four five six six uh, column i need to pick okay it's all well comma six comma false I hope either either it does not found it or there is some problem with it and, and it's, it's a real a real stuff which is problematic one e f g h i j that's pretty good j is the sixth one and this is a bit nice okay so i will just check it out what is the problem we are facing here oh no this is the problem i specified h lookup instead of v lookup still the problem exists okay let me check the problem still why existing So if if I'm combing this, same problem is going to be phased up. Acha, this is something uh, I mean irritating. Okay, let us try track it, track it out. Why exactly the problem is here? I mean, you can say. We it has replaced the value comma six comma false na. I mean, there's there's some serious problem which is here. I would need to find it out. I will go into formula and I will find uh, insert function and I say it's V lookup. It's into sheet two. Exactly correct. We are into sheet. And this is where we are connecting. We are connecting from this to J E F G H I J. Correct. Hai. So I have selected the entire lot. See, this is a problem which I am saying. I have just I have just misstuffed the word. You know. I will reput the formula in case I have gone wrong somewhere. Go to sheet through lookup values. I've, this is my lookup value. Table array. This is my table array. I hope you might have got what is the problem. One, two, three. This is my table array. I will just select the entire column. Done. Although I had put it right, but somehow it is taking wrong. This is six, and this is false. And this I will freeze it so that I can copy it easily. Done. No, so correct. Now I will just copy it here, and I will get the result. Now this is it. You can make it more uh, decent kind by having this. Done. So here, guys. Now this is the VLOOKUP. This was the VLOOKUP for you. For now, I will sign it off and uh, we will meet again on the next video. Till then, take care.